Hello Cancer, welcome, I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general tarot reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. I'd probably do three tarot, which is read you as well. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Um, okay, what's going on there? Why that? Or why that cancer? Whoa, 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 whoa. And there you are. You show me why. Um, interesting. I ask, ask and you shall receive, huh? Right away, what you show me, Cancer, jumping into this, there is, so tomorrow we'll talk about who you're dealing with. I'm not too exactly certain or 100% sure about what you're showing me, actually. I'll show you what I do sense from this. What you're kind of showing me is, is this overall energy of possibly a living situation, stability, maybe a home life or foundation, I don't exactly know. You're actually in that same mindset, that same mentality of you don't actually know. You have no clue. You have no idea where this is going to go. Unfortunately, something here regarding possibly your living situation, your foundation, um, is not working out. I, I kind of, I'm not. I, I hate to say this, but I do kind of get the sense of possibly there is some sort of home loss um, or home difficulty at that, um, and possibly relocation or moving. But ultimately, I'm, I kind of feel like this may be for some sort of possible job opportunity, maybe some sort of form of money or like a paycheck or maybe a sign-on bonus, um, maybe just relocation for work. I don't exactly know. It kind of feels like it. Um, it feels like relocation for work. But ultimately, whatever this energy is about a new job or new position or career, maybe a new line of work, I don't exactly know, you're ultimately showing me that you've kind of like, you've moved forward with this idea, this endeavor, but right away you've accepted you've accepted it. At the same time, there's also something you're not accepting. And I don't exactly know what that's about. You're strongly considering like, hmm, um, is something worth it? Is something truly what I want to do? Is something my true path? I don't exactly know. You're making a decision here to move forward and do something new. But ultimately, whatever this energy is, there is a quite a bit of internal conflict surrounding possibly you and others. Like I said, show up tomorrow. We'll talk about them. Um, you don't know what to do. It's, it's an energy of you're, you're going kind of back and forth to yourself, trying to figure things out and try to fill things out. It's like, are you okay with it? Are you not okay with it? How does it sit with you? Where are you truly at emotionally? Do you know? Do you not know? You're having to sort through some things emotionally speaking, um, as well as mentally. There's something here you're really trying to gain clarity and perspective on when it comes to how you perceive this. And I feel like the longer you sit with yourself and kind of contemplate what can kind of be done, what can't be done, um, consider your options. Interesting, I kind of feel like you're having to resettle into something. And like I said, whether it's a new living situation, whether it's a new home, maybe a new location, I don't exactly know. Um, but you're saying I'm doing what I, I'm doing what I feel is best for me to try and get this thing contained or get this thing under control, but I'm doing everything I absolutely can to make something feel, well, literally like home, but it's, it's more so an energy of maybe physically as well home, but also at the same time, emotionally and mentally feeling like home as in you're in your element, doing your thing and you're taking care of what you got to take care of. Okay, let's continue.
because you show me you're on board with some sort of grand vision here that you have for yourself in the situation but um aim high aim high cancer aim real high um Oh geez, you're like, yeah, that high? It's like, that's, that'll do. Why not higher? <laughs> Why not? You know, if you're going to aim high, aim high, high. There you go. I like that. That's nice. That's a nice energy. Um, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is funny. That That's quite the picture. Um, thanks for the humor. You're saying, yes, it, it's absolutely regarding work. And you're like, I just don't know how I feel about it. It's like, I'll do what I got to do, but I just don't know how I feel about doing what I got to do. Um, but I'll do it. And you're kind of like saying there is this kind of energy of surrender and acceptance to it. Like, I got to do what I got to do in order to make things work, and kind of bring things together. Um, so you do strongly believe in your endeavor and where you're kind of going and headed, as well as your direction and your vision, even though it kind of seems and feels like even with the way things are proceeding and moving forward, I feel like for you, overall, some sort of plan is coming to completion. And I don't exactly know what that's about. You're saying something's about done, something's about finished up or wrapped up. It's about to be completed, it's about to be finished. And ultimately, whatever's going on there is you're kind of like this. This is what I was looking for. There's a lot of new strong emotions and feelings of love there. I don't know if this is regarding, you know, love for yourself and what you've done and what you've accomplished, what you've completed. Um, it's kind of like saying, like, job well done. Um excuse me, or whatever this is, it's immediately as one door closes, you find something on the other side of that door that you fall in love with immediately. I don't know what that's about, but... Hmm... Okay. You're sitting with it a little longer. You're sitting with it a little longer. Hmm. Interesting. I feel, Jesus, I feel like for you, you're. When one door closes, another door opens, but I feel like you're in that transitional period of waiting for that other door to open. And that's what fascinates. I feel like as you're in the, once again, as you're in the planning stages, you're gonna be surprised as to what does happen. Even though you're kind of showing me it's been a, it's been a rough, difficult, rocky road, um, I feel like you'd be surprised. So of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with the water sign a fire sign, an air sign, an earth sign, they're all here. 